Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope you all guys will be definitely fit and fine. And I, Yashoda, welcome to all of you in my YouTube channel English with Tihati Madam. Friends, in today's video, I am going to share a problem. Yes, it's a problem by which everyone who is on the journey of spoken English will suffer a lot. And this problem is about my mind goes blank when I speak in English. And I think it's a very big problem and everyone, everyone who is, everyone who is on the journey of learning spoken English must be suffer from this problem. And uh, I, so that, so I think why shouldn't I make video on this topic and uh, I think by making this video I think I can help someone in a small way yes my my purpose of this video making is only to make English learning in is easy process and friends I have some tips for you and by using these tips, you can make your journey spoken English in an easy process. So, the first one is treat English as a language. Yes, the first one is treat English as a language. English is a language, not a subject. Don't treat it as a subject like math or science, social science. It's a language. We, it's a, English is only a medium of, only a medium by which we uh, convey our thoughts, we transferring our thoughts, we deliver our thoughts to the other one. We only want to convince the other person. Okay friends, and don't try to focus much on, too much on grammar and uh, rules. Do, you don't need to focus on it. You only have to start from the beginning. You only, you have to start from the beginning only from the simple sentences. Try to deliver simple sentences. You don't need complicated sentences. You don't need to speak tough words. You speak from the simple words. Okay. You only have to speak in English. What is the purpose of your English speaking? What is the purpose of our mother tongue? We only want to express our thoughts to the others. Okay? We don't want to be smart by using the difficult words. And maybe the other person can't understand. And the second point is, Always try to speak slowly. Yes. The second point is always try to speak slowly. You don't need to rush. You don't need to fast. Okay. You have to be calm. You have to be speak. Uh, you speak slowly. And you know what's the benefit of speak slowly? I'm telling you, whenever you speak in a rush, then I think other person will not able to understand that what are you saying. And if you keep your words slowly, if you keep your speaking process slowly, then the other person will be able to understand that what, we, what, you, are, what you want to say, what you want to say him. And he can easily get your thoughts, easily get your words that you want to tell him. And the third one is replace the tough words by using easiest words or small words. While speaking English in front of anyone, sometimes it happens with you also that uh, some kinds of vocab don't come in your mind but you have to say now like uh, you want to say that it's very difficult 
and the word difficult not come in your mind then you can say it like uh, it's very hard for me it's very hard for me to do okay use simple words when you are not able to speak difficult words when the difficult words not come in your come in your mind use the simple words okay you don't think that the other one will laugh other one, other person laugh at you no it don't care he doesn't mind okay friends use fillers fillers means you can use i know i think and even the native speakers also use the fillers and fillers are very important in and fillers plays very important role in our speaking english because by using fillers when we use fillers when nothing will come in in our mind then we use fillers and uh, even a big celebrities who are flu- who are fluent in their speaking but they also use fillers like uh, i think i thought hmm yeah uh, yeah you can use these fillers and the fifth one is try to use the sentences that you learn which you learn in a day on your daily basis suppose that if you learn a sentence simple sentence theek okay if you learn a simple sentence then try to use it in on your daily basis try to use it at least fifth five or six time on your daily routine friends in a day you also learn you learn one or two sentences one or two vocabs one or two words and try to try to use these words use these sentences on your daily basis routine try to use these words if you don't use these words your mind forget it but you learn if you using this on your daily routine on your daily basis then your mind get conscious about this and your subconscious mind and this words and this sentence goes into your subconscious mind and it get the habit of this so whenever make a habit of that you have to learn two sentence on your daily basis and try to use it on your daily routine try to use in your whole day at least 5 to 6 times now the sixth point is is reading books reading books is a very important part of english speaking reading speaking plays a important role if we want to speak english okay friends because by reading my our mouth our tongue and uh, our mind practice all of all of them are on the process of practice and when our mouth our tongue and our mind get practice we will be able to speak in english and read what read what in which you are, you are interested don't read the books who are so boring always read the books according to your interest and make reading is a good habit for you reading is a very good habit you have to read at least one hour in a day you have to make habit of reading books and reading books is very and reading books plays a very important role in your journey of learning english and and the last one is practice 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 what practice means 
प्रैक्टिस टू स्पीक इंग्लिश एज मच एज यू कैन ओके बिकॉज विदाउट प्रैक्टिसिंग यू कॉन्ट स्पीक इंग्लिश एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्पीक इंग्लिश देन यू हैव टू प्रैक्टिस टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश टू स्पीक इंग्लिश सो फ्रेंड्स दीज आर द सम टिप्स दैट आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू टू मेक टूवर्ड्स देयर दिस अ प्रॉब्लम दैट योर माइंड गोज ब्लैंक ओके ट्राई टू प्रैक्टिस दिस टिप्स एंड मेक योर जर्नी ऑफ स्पोकन इंग्लिश इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट यू आर नोट इम्प्रूविंग बिकॉज यू इम्प्रूव बाय लिटिल बाय लिट यू लिटिल बाय लिटल यू डोंट इम्प्रूव इट इन इट्स नॉट अ मैजिक ओके सो ऑलवेज प्रैक्टिस ऑलवेज कीप प्रैक्टिस कीप प्रैक्टिस ऑफ स्पीकिंग कीप प्रैक्टिस ऑफ लर्निंग स्पीकिंग रीडिंग एंड आई थिंक इट्स इनफ फॉर टूडे एंड इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो दैन प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड वी विल मीट अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन बाय बाय